Hi everyone, this is Rochelle Rivolino again, um, giving you a little lesson on how to draw a male style manga head, front view. And I'd like to start off by first saying, because some of you have had some questions, what's the difference between anime and manga? Anime is the animation such as cartoons or uh, motion movies and manga is the term for uh, cartoons that are not moving that are on paper are in a poster or in a graphic novel um, they both fall under the genre of a Japanese style cartooning and I'm going to start begin showing you how to draw now this here is a previous drawing that I did. A lot of you keep asking me to do Naruto, and everybody knows who that is. This doesn't necessarily look exactly like Naruto because my style is a little different. I always draw my eyes bigger. Uh, big eyes are just part of my style. Now, anime typically has big eyes, however, the male version, the eyes are smaller than the female. Now I want to tell you what you want to start out with is paper, a pencil with an eraser, and then I want you, oh, also a straight edge. So you could use something like a block or a ruler. And then I want you to look around the house and find something where you can trace a circle about the size of a can or a little bigger. So you can find canned vegetables, canned fruit, or something like a glass, or possibly bowls. Okay, so you're going to use those to trace a circle. I use this glass. And the first thing you want to do is trace the circle. After you've traced your circle, you can use a ruler or actually just any straight edge. Or if you feel confident, you can draw your own straight line. Now, the first line you want to draw is right under that circle. Right under that circle. This is called mapping. I'm mapping out the face of the manga character. I'm going to shut some of this light here. I feel like it might be a little distracting. There we go. And then the next line we're going to do is we're going to draw from the edge of the circle down and then down this way and you're going to have a chin that is more squared off than the female character. Female characters usually come more to a point because the squared off chin is more masculine and men's faces are a little bit bigger so the distance from here to here is usually a little bit longer female I might end you know here and it might be just a point and a point okay now the next line we're going to do and you don't have to make it a complete line but the next two lines actually are going to be this space but in half okay so in other words if you took this space and you measured it it would be about half of that space from there to there about half of that which would be that size and that size and you're going to put it here and here so you've got three lines now and the last part of your mapping is going to be the line that goes in down the center of the head you can use to help that find your what you think is the middle here and here and then draw your line now all these lines should be drawn lightly and I'm drawing actually a little darker than I normally would because I want you to see it because it's on a video but typically when you're sketching you sketch light with very little pressure and then when you once you've done your sketch you're going to sketch uh, you're going to draw on top of your sketch and you're going to press harder to get a darker line. Okay, then after that, where your jawline is here, 
you want to put two lines. Now, I'm not so straight. It's coming in a little bit at the bottom, right? And I'm going to put a line right here. Kind of shows the neck. Okay. And from there, we'll, we'll give sort of a slight slant for shoulders. And then where the middle is, go over a little bit, but make sure, because we're looking at this guideline, kind of doing this and this for shoulders. They're not perfect. We could fix it later. Now, the next thing we're going to do is start laying in the foundation for our eyes. So, you're going to use this top line here. And remember I told you that we're about three eyes apart. I'm sorry. Eye, one eye in the middle for distance. Another eye would go over here. Okay. So then with that knowledge, you're going to go in and start to put your eye in. Nice dark. Now you can choose to put this extra eyelash here in or not. That's up to you. I kind of follow this circle that comes around like this. I'll follow it a little bit to put my eye in. Okay. going up a little bit too far and then the next thing I'm going to do is put my eye in and maybe I'm not going to go so circular I'll go a little bit smaller oval and then I'm going to put my pupil in and the last thing is going to be the highlight in my eye uh, I might want to make this part just a little bit more pronounced. Okay, now this is always the darkest. And I might decide to erase the highlight right here. And you could put a little bit of sketching right in here. And now we have our eyes. Now, what I'm going to do is stop here so you can take a break. You can go backwards, forwards in the video to make any corrections. Make sure you have it. Um, and then we're going to start again with the next video and we're going to finish our character. All right, I'll see you soon. Have fun with this.